Yo, 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 what is up you guys? So, today's kind of a tips and tricks sort of video, and it's going to be focused mainly on chorus. Um, so, briefly what chorus is, it's kind of, chorus is basically a modulation effect that's sort of time-based. Um, so basically what it does is it clones the signal, the original signal, and mixes it back in uh, with, with the modulated lfo signal, which is... What's cool about it is it detunes it and kind of, you know, creates these little variations in pitch and things like that. So it's basically like an LFO detuning, time-based modulating effect. So the what you what what's really useful about chorus is that you can make things easily sound much fatter and wider and it really just fills in. There's a lot of things that kind of do that depending on how you use it and the settings that you choose to use. But with chorus, I find that it's really... Uh, it's really kind of more popular and more evident now more than ever in dance music because you hear a lot of these detuned leads and things like that. I'm going to show you some cases of how I use it on a group. So uh, I use chorus on, on this little group of tracks right here just to kind of uh, very subtly just make it a little bit fuller. So I'm going to solo this group and I'm going to just play it with chorus and then I'll take it off. Um, so let, let's do that. And this might be hard to hear because it's subtle. But then I'm going to boost it up in uh, the dry way and you'll be able to notice, so let's play it. Alright, so really what it's, why I have it like at that percentage is just to kind of make it a little bit wider and fuller, but not too much, because I have chorus on each of these tracks already, so this is all get, again, just to kind of detune it a little bit more, make it a little bit more uh, wicked. So now let's bring it up to like 100%. Or let's do it at 50% actually, because uh, I see very common use of chorus is to throw the feedback and the dry wet at 50% and then just find a nice little sweet spot with the modulation. So the modulation is basically, in this plugin, a combination of amount and rate. So in any other chorus plugin, you would just be fooling around with the LFO settings or however that plugin is set up. So let's put it at 50% now so you can kind of hear more exactly what it's doing. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Now let's boost. Let's take it to a hundred. All right. So uh, maybe like when I was working on this earlier today, I actually was trying to debate whether I should have this at a hundred percent or somewhere around twenty. So I was, you know, I was a being it a lot, and I was trying to figure out what would be coolest and best for this group, and I, and for a long time I actually like wanted to leave it 100% I think it's really cool and you know just having it more detuned and more kind of crazy sounding like that I thought it was rad but I decided to go more subtly and just kind of add a little bit more chorus on each one so in this case the point of throwing it on the group is just so I can make it fatter so and that with a combination of a vinyl distortion was really awesome so uh, let me take off the vinyl distortion so you can kind of hear how it sounded before. And now with it. Obviously, it, it made it louder because I threw the drive up all the way, but if you if I bring it around there, I suppose it should be around the same volume, but you'll still notice the difference. The mids are just getting distorted so much that it's pushing it a little bit more forward, and it's still in a nice sweet spot, so it's not like it's uh, we're getting plug-in distortion or anything like that and not not I mean like from the plug-in itself I mean just like from the signal leaving it creating a plug-in distortion you can do that with any plug-in like if you boost too much on an EQ you can get plug-in distortion so um, yeah so let's just leave it at that so together on on this group and I kind of find this is kind of a trick I just sort of done before but never really uh, thought of it as something that I should save as a rack, but after today I'm going to probably save this as a Ableton rack, just so I can try it out on different groups, particularly like leads in the drop. So if I take it off, it's much obviously more in your face, and I kind of prefer it more now just listening to it. Like, I feel like that's a favorable effect. So now let's go to one of these other ones where I threw a lot of course. So. 
uh, we can see this is a hundred percent. So let's listen to this uh, just by itself, and let's take off the chorus. And now let's add it back in. So the reason why I did chorus, why I use the chorus like that here, where I used it so much, so that's an obvious effect is because I I was trying to mix it in. This this layer is really just there so I can uh, add some more harmonics and tone and things like that. And I tried mixing it lo uh, like a lower and louder and I tried, you know, compressing it and I tried filtering it, like just some way to make it fit in better. And uh, I found with the chorus, because I was just like, well, fuck it, might as well try to see if I, maybe by detuning it so much that I would be able to kind of fit it in or it would go back a little bit but still be full enough to where it's there but not there so it's noticeable but not really so with by throwing it up to 100% I found I found that way of doing it so in some ways I also use chorus to kind of you know detune things and you know take away some of the uh the loudness from it and I I, I liked it so again if we a and b it <laughs> And you can tell that's definitely more on the sides now, so uh, it's definitely a little bit wider, so that kind of helps uh, give the other parts in the group some space, so kind of just imaging things now. So by making something so wide, that leaves more room for like the main lead in this group to kind of fill in the center a bit more, so that's also another thing. And I did the same thing with this, uh, this layer down here. <laughs> So I wanted to take, uh, I really liked that that layer, but it was too much in the center and it was a little bit too low end, so I wanted to make it wider so I can get it out of the center. And I could have used the utility to do that, but by using chorus to make things wider, I'm also you know, making it sound more detuned and f that's kind of favorable for certain dance genres. So uh, again, this is kind of, uh, that's all I wanted to say about chorus, but I suggest you guys really play around with it, kind of get more into using it, because I, f the, I, I can't even explain how many uses of course there could be, so uh, if you guys want more tips and tricks on Thursdays, uh, I guess like uh, there's must be like a thousand YouTube channels that do tips and tricks on Tuesdays or Thursdays, but I guess I want to just start doing tips and tricks on Tuesdays or Thursdays, so if you guys want any particular audio effects or things like that where I could recommend tips and tricks, let me know. So thanks guys for watching.